One of the wonderful things about the CSS Hero plugin is the fact that it allows us to customize the look and feel of the default WordPress login page. Now to do this, I'm going to go over to the toolbar right here, go to tools, click on style, login page. And the truth is, even though I love WordPress, the default login page is quite boring. I mean, look at this. All you have here is a boring background color, the WordPress logo, and then the fields for the username and password. And this is not very, very attractive. So thankfully with CSS Hero, we can make this a bit more appealing. And this becomes very, very useful if maybe you have a membership website or any other kind of website where users have to log in before they can view content. So rather than them seeing this kind of page, uh, you can make it more attractive. So what exactly can we do here? Well, I can click anywhere in the background, go over here to the background property, and I can change the background color to something different if I wanted to, or preferably I could go to image. So I'm gonna click on image right here, and then I could either use an image from a media library, my computer, or I could go with images provided by Onsplash. I'm gonna use one provided by Onsplash and where I have the option to search for images, I'm gonna type in uh, HTML just to get an image with some code in it. So here is the image right here, which I'm going to use. I'll click on it, come down here to apply image and then choose medium. And just like that, we now have the background image. One thing I should point out though is that if you're going to use a background image, make sure it's big enough. And then when you have background size, go with the cover option, which is the second one right here. What this does is that it will ensure that your background image will occupy the full width and height of the container. Just make sure the image is big enough. Otherwise, the image will become blurred and it might not look all that great. So you've got this option in here. You could also choose to change the WordPress logo. Just click on the logo, come over here, and then you can choose a different kind of image uh, if you wanted to. Maybe you could use the logo of your website or something like that. In my case, I could simply click on the X button right here and not have a logo displaying at all. You do have other options as well, which I'm gonna show you. Let's say, for example, with the box, you can click on the box right here. You could also change uh, the background color to something else. So maybe something reddish if you wanted to, you could do that one. Or you could even go to your properties and then when you have extra, click in there and then you could make this uh, more transparent if you wanted to. Just make sure that it makes sense and that it blends in well with whatever background you are using. But you can see you do have uh, that option. You could even make the borders rounded. So you come over here to border radius, click, click in there, and then when you have border radius, you could just apply the same value to all the four sides. Now you can see that the borders are rounded, as you can see, or you could go with a different kind of design where you apply the border radius to one particular side. So in my case right now, we could apply to the left. Uh, let's make this one all the way to 50 pixels. Okay, and then we could also do the one for our bottom right. We could apply 50 pixels in here as well. So now you have this kind of design. So honestly, you have a lot of different options available for you for designing the look and feel of your login page. Don't forget the login button as well. You could click on it if you wanted to and then do the exact same thing. You could apply a border radius right there, make it a bit more rounded if you wanted to. You could change the background color and so on and so forth. So I hope you will find the Scissors Hero plugin very useful for designing your login page.